Hello and welcome to the session on how to extend your SAP Business One licenses on Mini SAP. To do so, we will have to deploy an instance in the SAP Cloud Appliance Library and log into this instance. So what you can see here is a remote desktop connection to the front end of the SAP Business One Cloud Appliance Library instance. So what we are seeing here is just a Windows desktop. And to continue, we will now uh, extend the license of SAP HANA first, and then lastly, the license of SAP Business One. So let's start SAP HANA Studio and click on Launch. So when HANA is started, HANA Studio, we can then continue, proceed here by clicking on No for this first time. We can do this always later with the password, hint, and so on. And continue here with opening the Administration Console. And in here in this white space, we do a right mouse click and say Add System. We then need to add the host name. So where do we get the host name? So if we go to the desktop and open the welcome page, you can find some information and more details even in the Getting Started Guide. However, here you can see in the first box that there is a HANA server name SID dash HDB, so we will just copy that and go back to HANA Studio and paste the host name here. Instance number by default is uh, 00. As this is HANA 2.0, it's a multiple container setup. And to extend the license, we need to connect to the system database and proceed by next. The username is uh, system and the password is the master password defined when you have created the cult instance. So when connected, then we can just right click here and go to properties. And in here we have then the license menu. And as you can see, it's just a temporary license. However, it's still valid, um, valid for 90 days. And when it will be expired, you will probably notice that SCP Business One is not running anymore. The system landscape directory cannot be found. This is the most reason for this error that the HANA license has not been extended or forgotten to be extended and only a Business One license has been installed. That's a common issue. So please always think of two licenses for the um, business One environment. One is for Business One, the other one for HANA. So now back to this uh, HANA Studio uh, window. So we can see here the hardware key. So we will just copy it. And now we will go back to the browser and open a new window, a new tab, and go to Mini SAP. And click here the first link. All right, so now let's choose first not the business one. We will start firstly with the SAP HANA Platform Edition 64 gigabyte. So just select it and go down. Now fill in your personal data. And then click on I agree. And then you can agree here the license agreement to proceed and click generate. Now we will receive a text file in which we can just save into the downloads uh, folder. So we will go back to HANA Studio. We will delete this uh, temporary license key and we will now install a new license key from the downloads folder. 
So now we have a permanent license for development purposes installed and can apply and close. The next license we need to extend uh, is the license of SCP Business One. So if you go back to the to the welcome page, um, you can see here a link to the control center of Business One. So we will go here and we will then uh, accept and log in with the B1 site user. The capital B, S, and U. And the password is the master password. You have also chosen when you created the CAL instance. In here, please go to services and then to the license manager. In here, you can see that there's no license applied. We have a system number empty and the installation number, which is empty. However, you can see the hardware key. So we will just copy the hardware key and go back to the mini SAP page, refresh this page, and start over. So business one, we will then type again our name. Now other personal data and paste the business one hardware key this time and agree to the license uh, agreement again. And you can also find for business one a specific exhibit B. So if we scroll down a bit, you can find here in the exhibit B also for SCP business one a specific paragraph. So we will agree and generate the business one license. And we will also save the file. Now, if we go back to the license control center, we can now browse, go to downloads and select the business one license file and click on import license file. Now, the license is installed and we can now finally start business one. Click on change company, select our demo database and log in with the username manager and the password manager. And when you have now applied new license, um, it could be that the, still the evaluation period is still active. However, if it's expired, you will then still need to assign your users to the new license. And this is what I want to show you right now. So what we are doing now is we are opening up the license module. So we go here in the menu to administration, to license, and then to the license administration. And then here in this license field, you see it's still empty. So we click on change and select now the new installed license. And we need to log in again to business one with the new license now. And you can now see that our user manager has no license assigned. So what we will now do is we will go again to the license administration and go to our users, for example, the user, the main user manager, and assign one of the two professional user licenses. You can see that there are also other licenses available you may want to assign to the, this user. And we will then update. And now you have the license assigned and can now continue to work in Business One. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you for watching it. Bye.